Hey guys, welcome to the 45th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Convert class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a text box. And once you have those on your form, just double click on the button. So, in previous tutorials, we looked at the Bit Converter class, and the Bit Converter class um, mainly handles bytes, and we're, want, we're going to want to be looking at other variable types, so we're going to use the Convert class. So, in order to uh, access the methods inside of the Convert class, we're just going to want to type Convert, and then use the dot operator. And since all of the methods inside of this class are static, we don't need to create, or we can't even create an instance of this class. So, first, like I said, we're going to be looking at converting a string into an integer. So, we're just going to use the toInt32 method. And then, as you can see, it calls for, well, this method is heavily overloaded, meaning that you can pretty much type any variable type inside of here, and it will convert it into an integer, or it will at least try to. So, we're just, like I said, going to be converting a string into an int32. So we're just going to type textbox1.text because it represents a string. And basically what this will do is it will convert whatever is in textbox1.text into an int32. And if it cannot do it, if there's like letters in there or something, it will throw an error. So first we're just going to create an int to set it equal to. And then we're just going to display that integer in a message box. We're going to have to do dot to string. Alright, so basically what it does here is it takes whatever's in textbox1.txt and it converts it into an integer. And then it sets whatever it converts it into equal to this integer right here. And then it displays this integer in a message box. So now when we debug here, we just type any number in here and we'll display it in a message box. Type in 4, yep, we get 4. Type in 10, and we get 10. But if we try to type in like letters or something, like K or those, it's going to get an error. Yep, input string was not in correct format, just meaning it can't convert letters into an, uh, an int32. So we can also do many things with this. Like we can treat it just as if it was like a number or something. Like we can just add, like, we can add 2 to it or something. We don't have to just leave it like that. We can we can treat it as if it was just a number or a variable. So we can just add 2 to it, type in like 10, which you get 12. Yep. So, yeah. Alright, so there are many different methods inside of this convert class, like I said. Um, you can convert pretty much anything into anything, like convert to character. Like if we wanted to do whatever character is in textbox1.txt. Now we just want to display this character in a message box. We can do that. Type in like app right here. Yep. Try to type in like a string. We're probably going to get there. Yep. String must be exactly one character long. And it was, I don't know, like five or six. Um, there's other methods as well. There's uh, two boolean, where you can just convert it into a boolean. And some of these you may say you're probably never going to use them, like this two boolean, but you'd be surprised. I thought I would never use this two boolean, but I ended up using it like a few weeks back. So, anyways, we just convert uh, textbox one's text into a boolean. Is that equal to that? Display it in a message box. So if we type in true here, we shouldn't get an error. Type in false, we shouldn't get an error. Nope. But if we try to type in like anything besides true or false, we're going to get an error. We just type in that. Yeah, string is not recognized as a valid boolean. So it's not a bad idea to um, put uh, a try and catch statement around when you're converting things because sometimes uh, it won't work out or like if you're pretty sh if, if only some of the time it's going to convert I would recommend putting a try and catch statement around it so your application doesn't crash and then you can always just put um, a message box here saying like um, uh, the 
conversion failed, and then you just know that there's a problem with your conversion, and then you can just keep on converting or have your application keep on going. So if we wanted to do like true, we're fine, but if we try to type in like anything else now, we'll just get the conversion failed instead of our application crashing, which is always good. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the convert class. But I didn't go over uh, every single um, method inside of it because it's pretty self-explanatory. Like you just do convert dot and then whatever you want to convert it to. Um, like if you wanted to convert it to an in64, then you just set it equal to a long or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.